In medicine, we overwhelmingly use treatments which are safe and effective, but there are still often uncertainties. We often don't know which is the best of the currently available treatments. So to give a concrete example of this, statins are probably the most commonly prescribed treatment in the whole of the developed world. Tens of millions of patients take these treatments every day, but we still don't know which is the best of the many different statin treatment regimes. we need to do a randomised controlled trial. We need to take a large group of people who are being offered a new treatment and give half of them one treatment, half of them the other treatment, and then follow them up to see how they're doing. Now at the moment, because doctors don't have good quality evidence to guide them, they will arbitrarily choose to give their patient one treatment or another, and effectively this is what happens every day in medicine. But if a doctor participates in a trial to formally compare one statin treatment regime against another, then suddenly they have to have an extremely long conversation with the patient about the risks of the treatment that is way in excess of what they would do in the course of normally prescribing these drugs, which you were going to get anyway. They also have to go through a very long and in some cases quite intimidating legal document called a consent form. By forcing doctors to go through a 20 minute long consent process, by forcing patients to sign a seven page long legal document, we make it a situation where these trials simply never get done. And when we don't do these simple head to head comparisons to find out which is the best of the currently available treatments, then we're left in the dark. Medicine doesn't move forward, we don't improve healthcare, and as a consequence, patients suffer. So in my view, it would be much better if, where there are trials which are clearly low risk, comparing two treatments which we know to be safe and effective, patients could be asked to participate in them in a much more simple and straightforward way. And then the conversation that your doctor has with you should be just the same as the conversation your doctor would have with you if they were prescribing in normal clinical practice. What we're talking about here with simplified consent is consenting to take part in what's effectively a trial, but is actually a comparison between two tried and tested drugs, but we're not absolutely sure which is the right drug under the circumstances for you. And all we're asking you is to take the drug I'm going to prescribe and allow us to use the information that we collect about you in the future to go into a larger pool of information so we can analyse that and find out which drug really is best. First of all, this won't make any difference to the way that we treat you. We'll carry on with that drug as if it's your normal treatment. And no other information apart from the results of that treatment will leave the practice. And all of that information will be anonymised. It will not be traceable back to you. I suppose the other thing that we have to mention is the whole question of coercion because when the patient is in the surgery they are vulnerable and I think that whatever method of trial recruitment we must be absolutely sure as individual GPs that we're not using that vulnerability to get people into trials and we must be seen to be aware of that. At the moment it can cost upwards of $20,000 per patient to do a randomised control trial. But actually there's no reason why it should cost that much. In the UK we've got electronic health records on patients so we could potentially follow people up to see how their health progresses over time essentially for free. And I think we should be turning the whole of the NHS into a machine for testing and learning about what works best for patients and then making sure that all the patients in the UK and around the world get the best treatment for them. We can only do that by running cheap, simple, head-to-head -head comparisons to find out what works best.